Hey guys, Aaron Cybertron Zeng here, and today I am here with week one of the GBA. So I am trying out something new. Go check out the announcement video that I made. It should have gone up yesterday if you haven't already, but I am joining a singles league, and this is one of the most established single leagues that have been around on YouTube. And the main reason I wanted to do it was because I knew I'd have more time this upcoming semester. I'll also be doing an update video on kind of the channel overall and my plans for the next couple of months. But yeah, I knew I'd have a lot more time going into the next semester, and I figured this would be a great way to try something new and meet a bunch of the other PokeTubers that I haven't gotten to interact with as much. And I think go be fun trying to watch me uh, adjust to singles and so yeah I will kind of talk a little bit more uh, kind of as we go on but this is week one of the GBA we're going up against John also known as Pokemon and I think he's probably one of the tougher opponents in the league uh, just from what I can tell he I've watched a bunch of his videos just to really get a sense of kind of what kind of person he is and uh, how he battles and he's he's really strong so uh, of course we both drafted our teams and you see my six Pokemon that I brought to this battle on the left John looks like he's going with the Serena Jolteon Tornado Therian, Hariyama, Cresselia, and Escavalier. So this definitely screams like a potential trick room. Um, pot, like, yeah, he, could, he definitely has a trick room component with the team with Cress and Escavalier. So I didn't actually prepare very hard for Escavalier specifically. So that might give me some problems. Uh, I definitely rushed the most this week just because we were already a little bit delayed in our battle. And I just got back from Hong Kong. So I just threw whatever I could and got a team together as quickly as possible. But uh, that definitely makes things a little bit scary. I think John prepared for the rain pretty nicely because he ended up not bringing the Mega Diancy or the Garchomp, which I know uh, he had on the team just because those uh, suffer a little bit more from rain. Uh, and so I, I'm thinking of leading Mimikyu here because I think Cresselia will probably come out as a lead from his end. Um, yeah, in which I could sword dance immediately. And I guess it doesn't really matter what other order I go with uh, with my team. Obviously, you see I drafted a Rancor. My core was rated the the worst out of uh, all the teams, all the 16 teams by the pre or the analysts. But uh, yeah, my goal in GBA really is to learn singles and try to learn as quickly as possible as the weeks go along. So I'm not expecting to, you know, get some wins earlier on, but I want to get acclimated to the singles format, see how I can adjust my team, see where the weaknesses are, because we do have free agency, and kind of go from there. Um, uh, I think I am going to go with Mimikyu here, just because I think the trick room possibility from his end is very strong. Uh, and there are also some mind games, because you might imagine, oh, what if my Mimikyu is Trick Room? If it doesn't, maybe I should have actually included it. I kind of wish I did now, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Of course, I am playing with the Melbourne Rotoms, and I think John is the New Orleans Pelicans, which is based off, um, yeah, or Pelipers, which is based off the Pelicans. We're going to see Birdman come out, though. That's going to be Tornadus T. Okay. So that probably was to shut down my rain. I'm going to assume it has, like, sunny day. Um, this is pretty scary still. Now, I could bring in Pelipper immediately. I could bring in Heliolisk. Uh, hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Tornadus is really fast. Can it knock me out? The thing is, I really need to conserve Mimikyu because of Cresselia, but I don't have too much bulk really in any of my mons, which is kind of a problem. I think I'm going to switch to Heliolisk here. Yeah, so I actually brought Heliolisk because uh, Tentacruel was a potential Pokemon that John could have brought, but it ends up not being here, so Heliolisk here isn't as important. Uh, we actually just see a knockoff come out, okay. So that is unfortunately going to get rid of my Life Orb. Uh, I don't, like Tornadus, this is based on my VGC knowledge. So because I haven't played singles very much, I am going off VGC knowledge instead, which makes things trickier. But I know, like, you could go with, like, Hurricane, knockoff, U-turn... Could have superpower, but let's see. Uh, he doesn't have any electric... Or I guess Jolteon could come in, actually. But if Jolteon came in, then I get a free switch out. So do I want to predict Jolteon to come in right now? Hmm. Because I could then switch into Pelipper. Which I kind of want to do. But I think I'm just going to stay in here. And I'll go for... I'll just go for a Volt Switch. Yeah. Okay, so he U-turns. Does that knock me out? No. Probably Jolteon coming in here then, but that means at least I can switch in Pelipper and get the rain rolling. Uh, I think rain is really good against his team, but I have to be in a proper situation to set it up. The other downside is if Jolteon does come in here, which I suspect it will, then you can predict my Pelipper switch and just go for a Thunderbolt. I'm also worried that it has Hidden Powered Grass. If it doesn't have HP Grass, then Swamper can obviously just wall it. But if it does, then obviously I just get destroyed by it. 
yeah, I kind of wish I had a Scarf user on this team now. Um, I really threw this together very last second, so I'm not expecting very much out of week one, definitely, but I'm trying to use it as a learning experience, like I mentioned, uh, just to kind of get used to singles. One thing I do have to remember is once I click the move, I can't, like, go back, just because in VGC, obviously, uh, if you do it for the first one, you can still back, uh, but here, once I make my move, that's certain, so, yeah. And I haven't played singles... Like, the last time I played singles with, with, was with Joey Pokium, who's actually also in this league. Uh, we did, like, a Ubers collab. Uh, sorry for the frame dropping there. It's kind of odd. I think it should go back to normal, yeah. But, yeah, the last time I played singles was probably a couple of months ago. Uh, I think my goal in this in this league is just to not get not get dead last place. That would be nice. Um, but that's just Serena coming in. Okay, not what I expected, but I will be able to get some more positioning here as I Volt Switch out. So I can finally set up my reign by bringing in Pelipper. Mm. Yeah. The other nice thing is the way Z moves work is we know which Pokemon has Z moves, so that makes it a lot more interesting. Uh, because, you know, the last draft league I played in was the NBL. It's the only draft league I played in. Not when any Pokemon can have a Z move. So uh, it increases the variability a lot more. But now I get Impelipper, so I do get my Rain up. I want a U turn here, though, I think. Um, yeah, actually, I, I really should not lock in my moves immediately. I don't know if Serena, like Serena shouldn't be able to one-shot Pelipper, I don't think, and I think it might be inclined to switch out here just because obviously I can hurricane it. So if I do force the switch out, then I get some more offensive positioning because U-turn will go after the switch out. So, so far this game has gone okay. I mean, I did get the rain up. I do have the damp rock as well. Ideally, I want to conserve Pelipper so that it stays around for more than one iteration of rain. But... Yeah, I, unless Serena has a way to, like, surprise knock out me out here. I'm, like, I, once again, I'm kind of, my knowledge of a lot of Pokemon is based off VGC, so I don't know what kind of moves they use typically in singles, but a lot of the moves you typically use in VGC are the strongest options anyway. So, I think here he might be inclined to switch out otherwise. I don't know what Serena does in singles. I just switch out, so that's good for me because I get some more offensive pivoting, as it is Tornadus coming back in. Okay, so that's fine. So I will get the U-turn off, and that gives me a lot of good positioning. The question now is, however, who do I want to bring in? Because uh, I have the option between Kingdra, which I have Specs Hydro Pump with, or Mega Swampert. Um, I don't have a Damage Cow candy. I'm also going to probably try to play this league without going through a Damage Cow, because I know other players do, but... Uh, I just try to treat it like VGC, where I learn on the spot, and I, I guess it would really help me in this kind of format, though, but, yeah, I'm kind of torn between Kingdra and Swampert. Uh, Kingdra is Specs. I think I'm gonna go with Kingdra here, yeah. Uh, can Specs Surf knock it out? Because I don't want to risk missing Hydro Pump. It's the one scary thing. Because I, I think this Tornado is probably a sunny day. Uh... Do I think Specs single target surf in the rain will knock out? <laughs> I really have no idea. I'm, I'm gonna assume it's pretty bulky as well, but <sighs> do I want to risk missing Hydro Pump? Hydro Pump's really good here. I mean, if I get the knockout, that would be phenomenal. And I'm guessing Tornadus is this way to shut down the rain. I want to go with Surf. Like the VGC player in me wants to go with Surf. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna play it safe and go for Surf. Alright, let's see if Specs single target Surf under the rain can knock out this Tornadus. Ah, close, but not enough. Like, he just goes for a Hurricane. Okay, that's fine, as long as I don't get confused. No confused. Ah! No sunny day, at least, which is good. But now the question is, do I want to switch out? Um, I mean, it is 1 in 3. I think if I switch out, I lose a lot of positioning. I don't really have a safe switch in either, so I think I'm just going to risk it and surf here. That's a really unfortunate confusion. But he does switch out Tornadus. Okay, so maybe Serena coming back in. Yeah. So that's fine. Maybe I should have just risked Hydro Pumping. Um, I hit myself in confusion. That's annoying, because the damage definitely would have been nice. Uh, I can just switch back out into Pelipper, but I can also switch into Kartana, which I'm considering. Hmm... I don't know Serena's full move set. I mean, it gets access to Trop Kick. Uh, I believe it gets access to a Fighting type. I think I'll switch back out into Pelipper. Nah. Now I'm thinking though, maybe maybe switching to Pelipper wasn't the best idea because I I can't let it faint because I need to get into second rain up this game. Um, so maybe Cartana would have been better. Yeah. 
Surf not knocking out, like, that was okay. Uh, the confusion was a little bit annoying just because Surf in the rain on their specs still does a lot. But I can't complain about that right now. I just regret switching into Pelipper right now, but we'll see what Serena has up its sleeve. I think Cartana might have been a better switch. Or Heliolisk just to sack it, because I don't really need it. I brought Heliolisk mainly for Tentacruel, and that didn't end up coming out in this matchup. Um, uh, but we just see a knockoff. Ah, that's pretty annoying given that it does get rid of my damn proc. Um, I'm pretty bulky though, so I should be able to take an attack, so I kind of want to just go for another U-turn here. But maybe Hurricaning isn't too bad here either. Uh, U-turn's probably more optimal though. I still have three turns of rain. Yeah, so I want to U-turn to get myself into a better Pokemon. Use the last two turns of rain and then swap Pelipper back in. Um, but yeah, that's where having Kartana come in would have been nice. I don't exactly, I didn't know Serena got knockoff, so that's good knowledge. Mm, I, I think going into the future weeks of GBA, I definitely will look up all the Pokemon and see exactly what all the moves they can use are. Um, but this week, I, I like I said, I was kind of rushed into going into things. But yeah, I think that last turn was pretty poorly played on my end. I think I could have also Hydro Pumped, but other than that, uh, I'm okay. I feel like I've been playing okay this game so far, but we're going to see the Cresselia come in. Okay, so Cresselia finally makes an appearance. It's going to come in. So I get a U-turn off. <laughs> Super effective, but it does so little. Uh, I think this is where Mimikyu probably wants to come in. Yeah, I have Mimikyu specifically for the Cresselia. I kind of wish I had the Gozi move. Because I do have Swords Dance. Um, and it's lefties. Okay, that's fine. So I think it Trick Rooms here. Mm, unless it's scared of me Trick Rooming. But I kind of want to just Swords Dance and then Shadow Claw. Yeah, I'm going to Swords Dance. But, like I mentioned, I didn't bring very good Trick Room answers in this game. And so he could potentially just sweep me with Cresselia and Escavalier. Although, my Swampert should be able to take the Escavalier pretty decently well. Um, and if I can... Like, I think I have the better matchup outside of Trick Room. Uh, I'm trying to think what I could have brought to really stop Trick Room. Maybe a Taunt user. Yeah, I'm thinking I didn't need Shadow Sneak on Mimikyu. And maybe I could have ran something like Taunt. Because if I had a Taunt here, I feel like I'd be in a really solid spot. But, we'll see. Regardless, Cresselia either breaks my disguise or just sets up Trick Room. Uh, and then I can knock it out in return. Maybe I actually don't want to knock it out. Maybe I want to go for two Swords Dances. Because I don't want to give him a free switch in into a Trick Room Sweeper like Iscavalier or Hariyama. Alright, so I get the Swords Dance off. What does Cress go for? Is it scared of, like, a Taunt? Because it doesn't have Mental Orb. Is it just Trick Room? It just Psychics. Okay. Huh. I want to gamble here in Swords Dance again. But I think it's probably better to just Shadow Claw. I don't know if life plus two Life Orb Shadow Claw even knocks out Cresselia, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'll go for it. So, I did choose Cortana to be my Z-Move user. Mimikyu might have honestly been a better choice, but... Um, like, so, a, a lot of people seem to have been questioning my decision to draft Mimikyu, and I think that was one of the reasons my draft was really criticized, but I think the ability just makes it super good in singles uh, in a draft league format. Um, but obviously, I haven't really played or watched singles draft league formats at all, so, you know, obviously, I don't have the best expertise there. Um, yeah, I'm still kicking myself for not knowing Serena had knockoff, because losing the damn proc is definitely annoying. But at least Pelipper is still around, so I can set up a second round of rain. So we'll see. Mimikyu can put in a lot of work, especially with Shadow Sneak. Uh, let's see if Shadow Claw can get this knockout. I don't think it will, but let's see. Yeah, it falls just a little bit short. And we just see another Psychic. Okay, so that should have knocked me out. Nice. Uh, special Defense Drop is obviously kind of annoying, but can't complain too much about that. More importantly, no Trick Room ever went up. So that's the main thing I was scared of. I think I'll just Shadow Claw again here. Maybe I should have Swords Dance. I didn't want to Swords Dance that, like, I don't want to Swords Dance because I'm still scared of Trick Room going up, but I think, yeah, I'm just going to try to knock it out with the Shadow Claw here. Even if, not, there's like no safe switch in a Mimikyu too, which is pretty good for me. Um, I really wish I wasn't, I mean, I didn't get confused that turn uh, where Serena switched in though, because that Surf would have probably done like 30, 40, maybe even 50%. I don't know how bulky it is, but the extra damage would have been nice, because I want to be in a position where I can just spam Surf with Kingdra and maybe, or Hydro Pump and just close out the game. But I will knock out Cresselia, so I do get the first knockout here, which is nice. Um... Yeah, I, I feel like Mimikyu especially is like really good against Cresselia because it can't do much damage to you in return. But uh, yeah, maybe I should have Swords Danced. 
a second time. Well, let's see. So now what comes in? What comes in? What comes in? I think maybe like if it's Tornadus, that'd be great because I have Shadow Sneak. I don't know if I mean you should expect Shadow Sneak on Mimikyu, I guess. Yeah, I, I wish I got greedy and went for a second sword stance, but I wanted to just guaranteed try to get rid of Cresselio. Um Yeah, I should have assumed plus two Shadow Claw well, with Life Orb should have knocked out. But I feel like I'm in an okay position right now. It's gonna be a new Pokemon coming in, Fisty, which is gonna be Hariyama. Okay. I mean I have play rough. So what does it do? Can't I just you can't fake me out, right? I'm just gonna play rough. Ah. That explains it. Uh, I could have Shadow Clawed there. Uh, so, Bullet Punch is something I knew Hariyama got too. That was just bad on my end. Uh, but that does allow me to set up Rain again. So I will just bring up Pelipper. I think this time around I might just go for a Hurricane. I mean, U-Turning would be nice, but Hurricane kind of covers everything other than maybe Jolteon. Uh, Hariyama gets like close combat and knockoff. Yeah, that was bad. I could have Shadow Sneak to put it in guaranteed KR range from Hurricane probably. So, definitely making some small mistakes here and there. Because um, otherwise, it's like, yeah, why else would you switch in Hariyama? There's no reason to. So, that was bad on my end. That was definitely a mistake. Uh, it's between Hurricane and U-Turn right now. What do I want to do? I'm more inclined? Nah. This time around, I'm less inclined actually to U-turn. Yeah, because Hariyama's faster than me, so I'm just or slower than me, so I'm just gonna Hurricane. Oh, it's faster and has Thunder Punch. Ooh, I see. I see. <laughs> okay, so that I wasn't expecting. I didn't think Hariyama would be faster than Pelipper, but he must have trained it specifically to outspeed Pelipper. That's a pretty cool tech. Uh, so this Hariyama definitely catching me off guard. I do have power up punch on this Swampert as well, so I could go for that. Um, but without the damp rock, that makes my life a lot harder. I think I'm just gonna waterfall, yeah. Oh boy. Two things that caught me off guard the bullet punch and then the thunder punch as well. Outspeeding Pelipper. Or three things, I guess. Yeah, I thought I was just in the clear, man. That was. Pretty bad. Because, yeah, Shadow Seek would have been nice. The Hariyama being faster, that I certainly didn't anticipate. Um, but that's why it was really bad that I lost the Damp Rock earlier, and I really switched. wish I switched Kartana into La Serena. Uh, that would have been a more optimal switch in. Without the knockoff, like, that's fine, but uh, that was just me not knowing that I had knockoff, and there's no excuse to that. So I think my inexperience definitely has shown a little bit, first of all. Uh, just because I'm not, it's harder to predict when you don't have full knowledge of what your po opponent's Pokemon can do. So that makes life a little bit harder. But it's not the end of the world. I'm not going to give up. Uh, however, the downside is I did lose my Pelipper, which means I can't set up Rain again. Uh, and that's pretty bad for me. And without a way to set up Rain, that makes my life a lot harder. All right, so he's going to stay in. I don't think Hariyama can one-shot me. I think Waterfall should probably two-shot Hariyama. So I'm just going to go for the Waterfall. And try to make use of these turns. Could get a flinch, that'd be nice. Uh, wow, that almost knocks it out. Okay, close combat, I should survive that. Yeah. It does a lot, though. So, unfortunately, not getting the knockout, that would have been really nice. However, I still have three turns of rain. Now, let's see what he can switch into. Scavalier, Jolteon. I think I'm going to... I'm just going to Ice Punch here, because it covers the Serena switch in. Actually, I could have Power Up Punched. Um, but at this point, I'm not sure I want the additional attack stage. I want to just try to pressure with these last couple of turns of rain. Ah, I really wish I expected both Bullet Punch and Thunder Punch from Hariyama. I mean, the typical VGC Hariyama's Fake Out, Close Combat, Knock Off, Rock Slide, something of the sorts. But obviously in singles, uh, Ice Punch occasionally too. But yeah, Thunder Punch was something I should have remembered that it got, uh, same as Bullet Punch. So had I Shadow Sneaked earlier, the Hariyama would have obviously been chipped off a little bit more. And then if I just switched Pelipper out, uh, anticipating Thunder Punch, that would have been fine too. But losing Pelipper was really bad. I think I probably shouldn't have risked it and just switched out. But I didn't think that Hariyama would be slower. We sorry, faster than Pelipper. Uh, which was definitely a very, very cool tech on his end. And I think, um, 
Yeah, honestly, Rain is pretty favored against his team. So I should have thought about that a little bit harder and conserved Pelipper a little bit harder. Um, I mean, I guess Hariyama isn't the slowest Pokemon. I don't have any speed investment on my Pelipper either. But, man, that was shocking. But that's just uh, what goes into good preparation. And so far, this game really has been RNG-free, which is always nice as well. Uh, so it's Vacuum Wave as well. Okay. That doesn't knock me out, and I will get the knockout in return. But the downside of not getting the knockout earlier is that I waste... Well, not waste, but another turn of rain goes by. Another turn of rain goes by. And then there's Jolteon, uh, Tornadus, and Serena in the back, which are all pretty scary, I would say, uh, once rain is gone. Like, if I had the Damp Rock, I'd feel a lot better, but because I lost it earlier, this game became a lot harder. So Serena's coming back in now. I probably should have Power Up Punch there. Yeah, that was kind of a bad misplay too, I think. And this is where if I hit earlier, life would have been a lot easier, but I think I'm just gonna ice punch here. I don't think that knocks out, but we'll see. If it did get a knockout, that'd be huge. Um, there's also, yeah, Jolteon in the back I'm very scared of, because I think he's setting himself up for a Jolteon endgame. Alright, so I am faster, obviously. Rain is up, I get the ice punch off. Uh, that's really bulky. Wow. And we just get a power whip out. Okay. I think I needed to come into this game with a better game plan because I feel like right now I'm just clicking buttons and yeah I'm getting knockouts but I haven't set myself up for like a good end game. Uh, although I do have Cartana so now the question is there a fighting type attack on this arena because if not I can sweep with Cartana because I do have Swords Dance. Um, although the Scavalier walls me pretty hard. I should have brought Kingdra out too it's my last turn of rain. I need to, I need to like, take longer and think about my moves before I make them. Um, I just wanted to get Cartana out against Serena. I have so many plays I can point out where I could have done better this game, but let's focus on the game right now. Uh, my mind's just scattered everywhere right now because I haven't played singles in so long. Um, I want to go for a sub. Right, I'm faster. Does it have a fighting type attack? Or does it just knock off? Okay, it does have high jump kick. I could keep subbing until it misses high jump kick. But I think now I just lose the game because I'm slower than John's Pokemon. I don't even know if Smart Strike knocks out. Um, I think I am actually just going to keep subbing. And if High Jump Kick does miss, that puts me back in this game, I think. Because I'm trying to think about my win cons right now. And I don't think I have too many other than maybe a High Jump Kick missing. Because High Jump Kick missing would be huge. Not only would I still have my sub, but the Serena would also knock itself out. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go for. I definitely think this is a very winnable matchup, but um, a couple of things caught me off guard. And those couple of things made the match a lot harder. It's not over yet, but I think he should be able to just sweep through with Jolteon now. Unless he misses High Jump Kick. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so lesson learned for this one. I definitely need to conserve my Damp Rock a little bit better. Um, oh, okay. Serena switches out. So I do get the sub up, but I think a Scavalier. Oh, it's Jolteon coming in. Okay. So I do get my sub up. But if this is... Oh, no. It's not Sash Jolteon. It's Flame Orb. Interesting. I'm going to Bloom Doom here. Ah, nice play. Yeah, that was really smart. I figured maybe I had a shot if Jolteon stayed in, but Volt Switch there is so safe. So I'll probably get a knockout. Maybe a Scavalier comes in, actually, so I wouldn't even knock that out. Yeah. Ah, uh, not knowing... Like, the Hariyama was really what cost me this game. Um... So Bloom Doom probably knocks out the Serena there, but that was a really nice play. I could have maybe predicted the Jolteon to switch out, and Volt Switch is something I should be expecting on Jolteon anyway. So I could have maybe called the Jolteon coming in and Z-moving it, instead of subbing, because if I get that, I get the Beast Boost off. Instead, here, I don't knock out Jolteon, which was the main thing I was concerned about in the late game here. Yeah, even if I power up, which, power up Punch with Swampert earlier, I wouldn't have knocked out the Serena anyway, so that I can't feel too bad about. So I get the knockout, but and it's 3-3, but now my Pokemon are too slow. Like, I, I probably needed a Scarf user here, and I don't I didn't bring one. Because uh, now Jolteon should be able to just Thunderbolt through my team. 
And I don't think I have any way to stop it. And I need to conserve Swampert um, better for that. So I probably should have also brought out Kingdra instead of um, Kurtana on the last turn of Rain. And like I mentioned, yeah, I need to stop clicking buttons so quickly because I am just getting pretty hasty right now and not really thinking things through fully. But yeah, there's Jolteon. And I think Jolteon is honestly in a prime position to just sweep through this game at this point. I don't see any way I can stop it from... Because everything is so low. Um, and I am pretty weak to Jolteon overall. So yeah, it probably just Thunderbolts everything. So my best bet is something surviving. Um, but I don't think anything will survive. So I think this probably will be a 0-3 loss. Uh, he played this really well, conserving the Jolteon until the end. Swamper was my best answer, and really my only answer against Jolteon. If I had him Power Grass, I would have been screwed anyway. But what I needed to do was basically conserve Rain better in this matchup, because I did not use it. Uh, Alright, the Damp Rock, or sorry, the knockoff onto the Pelipper switching was really bad. I should have brought in Cortana there. Uh, I was just afraid of him predicting Cortana switching in at that point. So that was bad. Hariyama, the bullet punch and the thunder punch, and it being faster, those were all really bad, and like it lost me a lot of momentum, so that was really well prepared. Uh, is that actually Volt Switches here? Okay. So, maybe I get another knockout at least. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm still just not in a good spot. Um, I don't think I can win at this point. I guess I'll bring in Heliolisk, maybe. Uh, we'll see what comes in. But yeah, reflecting on this game, basically a couple of small things caught me off guard and those small things really ended up being game changers in this game. Um, so the knockoff onto the Pelipper making me lose my damp proc just because each turn of rain is so important. Um, I guess I'll bring in Kingdra, sure. I'm trying to think if I have any out here. I don't, I don't really think I do. Mm, maybe I should have brought in Heliosk, but in the off chance like like hurricane misses and get a nice beam off and get a knockout at least for battle differential but yeah like my biggest mistake in this game in general was not playing like not identifying what my win condition should have been uh, early on um so like one jolteon was a very big problem late game so i need to conserve swamper better two i needed to conserve rain better so i need to watch out for knockoffs so that's like the number one thing i need to research going into the future uh, what Pokemon can potentially knock off Pelipper's Damp Rock, because it's just so important. Those were the two. Obviously, I got a little bit unlucky with the confusion, uh, and then... But that was, actually, that was the one thing, yeah, and that, like, certainly didn't factor, like, into who won, or who won or not, so I can't really complain about that. I actually do survive the knockoff. I don't know, I don't think Ice Beam even gets the knockout here, though, unfortunately, without the specs. Yeah. Freeze would have been nice. Um... But, yeah, that's unfortunately not the case. So, GG. Grass not as well. Yeah, so no sunny day, but it was just kind of a bulky Pokemon that can take advantage against the rain users. Um, knockoff was bad. So I'm thinking maybe I could have Scarfed. In general, having a Scarf user would have been good with this team. Just because I also faltered against having slower Pokemon against the rain. Or against once the rain expired. So, yeah, I've, this entire time I've been thinking about what I could have done better. But, um... I mean, I'll just surf here, covers Jolteon coming in. Uh, not knowing, like, exactly how much damage things would do uh, was not too great either, like, whether I could have knocked out Cresselia or not. Uh, and, and basically, like, uh, not Shadow Sneaking the Hariyama, that was actually a really big deal, because I had I Shadow Sneaked it, I would have gotten an extra turn out with Swampert, which would have been a big deal. Um, and, yeah, there's a U-turn coming out. So... Tornadus and Jolteon being faster, uh, and me not having the rain basically were big issues. So very, very good game to John there. I thought he played really well and prepared really well. Um, and, you know, he ended up not bringing Pokemon that were higher tiers drafted in terms of, like, Mega Diancie and Garchomp, but that makes a lot of sense when you look at my team composition. So, reflecting on what I could have done better. One, I could have risked it with Kingdra. I could have Hydro Pumped. Two, I should have known better about the Hariyama in general. Uh, the Thunder Punch, uh, the Bullet Punch, those were both really bad. The knockoff from the Serena, that was bad as well. Uh, basically, like, the lack of knowledge made it so I, I lost a lot more momentum than I really should have had I just capitalized off a smart switch. And so, I think in the future I'll probably want to switch out Pelipper more often than not. That's definitely key. I need to watch out about switching into knockoffs, uh, because losing my Damp Rock baby... Like, had I had my D Damp Rock uh, in the position where the game was... I could have potentially just brought out Kingdra and surfed everything. But because I lost my Damp Rock, I had way few returns of rain. So that was that was actually maybe the biggest misplay. I should have switched in Cortana instead of the Pelipper when Serena went for the knockoff. And that was a really nice play by him. 
So I would point out overall maybe four mistakes uh, that I made in this game, and each of them were pretty important. The biggest one was Pelipper losing its uh, rock, but also just losing Mimikyu and the Pelipper to pretty much nothing. Uh, as Hariyama got both of those knockouts, that was really bad on my end. Uh, and then bringing out, uh, not bringing out Kingdra on the last turn of rain. Although I think at that point in the game, the game was already over. Um, I wasn't sure how much Ice Punch would do to Serena either, so yeah. Maybe I should keep a damage calc open handy. I'm just used to playing like Battle Spot and not doing calcs uh, while I'm actually playing the game, but I, I think that is allowed for this league, so maybe I should just take advantage of that. But either way, I think that was a really good learning experience, and I think I understand how to play with this team archetype a little bit better, uh, and conserving Pelipper is really the number one key thing. So I uh, definitely learned a thing or two about win conditions and what I could do. But I think this was the kind of game where John had control uh, in the second half. And I had pretty decent control at the beginning of the game. Uh, but that Hariyama was able to turn everything around. So uh, yeah, in the future, can't let Pelipper get knocked off. And two, uh, I definitely need to do more research into my opponent's move pools uh, and what Pokemon, yeah, like the Pokemon and all the sets that they potentially get going into the future because uh, this week I definitely was pretty ill-prepared for it. So, yep, no excuses for that, and I will definitely try to do better in the upcoming weeks, but that was a really fun game, and uh, I think John played really well. Uh, he's definitely, I think, one of the stronger opponents in this league as well, so that was definitely a good learning experience to get my feet wet with the format. Uh, I still think Rain is a really strong archetype, and so I'm excited to try to pivot it a little bit better in the future, but obviously not the best play on my end, um, but I... You know, once again, like I mentioned, the beginning of this league I'm really trying to use as a learning experience, and I certainly think I learned a ton from that, so that's the most important thing. So, good game to my opponent. Unfortunately, the Rotoms will go 0-1 in the first week, and I am uh, playing Joey Pokeyam in the next week, so I'm not really looking forward to that either in the sense like he will probably wreck me, but, you know, he has beaten me in the MBL before, so maybe I can get revenge against him in singles, um, but we'll see. Either way, that was really fun. I Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Uh, sorry for the mistakes I've made, but, you know, part of the reason why I'm doing this league is so that you guys get to see my learning process, and hopefully I progress and get better as the weeks go along, so... Good game to John. Excited to be part of the GBA. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. All right, peace.